न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन बाय आद्य सक्सेना एंड नंजिका कुशवाहा न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ स्टेट दैट एन ऑब्जेक्ट कंटिन्यूज टू बी इन अ स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन अलोंग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन अनलेस एक्टेड अपॉन बाय एन अनबैलेंस्ड फोर्स आई एम आद्य सक्सेना ऑफ क्लास 9c एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो द डेमोंस्ट्रेशन ऑफ न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ आई हैव टेकन अ ग्लास अ कॉइन एंड अ प्लेइंग कार्ड I'm going to place the playing card on the glass and I'm going to place the coin on the card. Now I will hit the card. You can see that the coin has fallen inside the glass. The coin falls vertically into the glass due to its inertia. The inertia of the coin tries to maintain the state of rest even when the card flows off according to the first law of motion an object remains at rest or in uniform motion straight line until and unless an external force is applied on it in simple words an object will start moving only if an external force is applied on it once it it is set in motion it will not stop or change its velocity until and force a force is applied on it the first law of motion is also known as the law of inertia newton's second law of motion by akshatra mola and anushka shrotriya newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to the applied unbalanced force in the direction of the force My name is Akshat Ramola. I study in class 9C. Today I am going to demonstrate the activity which is based on the Newton's second law of motion. Did you notice why Akshat lowered his hand while catching the ball? This was because he knew the second law of motion. The second law of motion states that The applied unbalanced force is directly proportional to the rate of change in momentum. This can be seen in many of the examples. Like when we fall on a cemented floor, we get hurt. But when we fall on a bed or a cushion, we don't. This is because when we fall on a cemented floor, we are suddenly stopped, which reduces the time and increases the force on us. This is what Akshat used. Newton's third law of motion by Ahana Aruda class 9c every action has equal and opposite reaction Working is Newton's third law of motion let's take a closer look When you are walking your feet are pushing the ground and your feet are applying a backward force on the ground the ground in turn is applying a forward force on our feet pushing us forward and making us walk action is our force on the ground and reaction is the force of the ground on us so both are equal and opposite so walking is the newton's third law of motion every action has equal and opposite reaction When I release it, the balloon pushes out the air inside it with a force. The air exerts force on the balloon, making it move forward. Balloon follows Newton's third law of motion. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. Rocket also follows Newton's third law of motion. Rocket exerts forces on gases backward and the gases exert equal and opposite forces on the rocket forward making the rocket move just like this balloon thank you